Hey guys. Let me just make sure that you are where you should be to be able to see this painting and me. <laughs> Just a notch. There we go. Okay. I think that works. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, we are going to be um, going back to this painting today. I didn't actually touch it at all this week. Um, so we're going to kind of just do some. I looked at it all week. I had it up just in my living room and I was like, yeah need some work. <laughs> so um, I kind of know in my mind what I what it needs and what I can fix. Um, so we're going to do that today. Let me find my picture real quick that I was working from, which is hard to know because I take so many pictures of clouds these days. Oh, there it is, that I don't even know. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so I think the plan is to go a little bit cooler, more blue, gray on top of this, just a little bit lighter. Um, and that should get the effect that I want. It's possible that this needs to go a little bit lighter too. I don't know. So we'll, we'll try a few things here. I'll do my ultramarine blue. Get that down on canvas or on the palette. white. There we go. Now, um, the reason I didn't get to this painting, one of the reasons, is that um, this week I was cramming to get last minute stuff done to launch my Teachable page. So I have, and this has been a dream for like years to be able to offer online classes. And so I um, I've been this year making that my goal to finish that. Um, and so this week, today, I will be launching my online classes on my Teachable page. So if you want to get notified of that, wasn't sure if I was going to have it ready for this live stream. Didn't quite happen. I have a few more things to do, but it's going to be launched today. So if you want to find out about it and get notified directly and see the updated website, like, my website with all the stuff as well as the online class page with all my courses that I've created so far. Um, I put the link in this video um, to my newsletter so you can get notified today when I send that out. So hopefully if you haven't subscribed to my news newsletter yet, hopefully you can do that <sighs> so that you can get notified. Oh no, what I just did. We're gonna try to use it. I'm such a, a paint saver that that just hurts my heart. Oh, I don't know what happened, but so that's what I've been working on this week to get it just completely ready and finished for you guys. So if you know anyone that's interested in art classes and you know can't go anywhere right now or isn't doing school right now or whatever, please send them um, my link. This link that's in the description or the comment section of this video and they can subscribe to the newsletter and get notified. I can't send you directly to my website yet because it's not ready um, until I launch it later today. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about all of it. So hopefully you guys are excited to tune in to all of that and see the classes that I have to offer so far. I'm going to keep adding to that page. So uh, let's see here. Oops. We're going to, I'm getting paint all over already, and I haven't even put paint to canvas. We need yellow. Okay, let's try not to do the same thing. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we are going to go up with this. And I've been using the same brush for the most part, and you can see kind of, it's kind of flary on the ends. I think I kind of ruined it by 
the technique I was using if you watched me last week, and I'll do the same thing again now. So we're gonna mix this together. Let's add a little bit of this medium stuff. So if you're just joining, hey guys, thanks for joining. In the description or in the comment section of this video, I have a link to my newsletter subscription because today I am launching my online classes, art classes page, as well as my updated website. So if you want to get notified of that directly and be the first to see it, um, please subscribe to my newsletter with that link in the comments of this video and send it to anyone that you think would be um, interested in that type of thing. Um, I have like full semester course, I have a mini course, and I have three painting parties. So things that you can kind of, you know, anyone can enjoy. So take a peek at that once that's out, but you'll get notified if you subscribe to the newsletter. Okay, so I'm just making a pile of goo here with blue and, oh, you know what we're missing? Red, we need some red. So we're gonna go in here, a little bit of red down. Oops, there we go. I'm just mixing this pile. I'm going for more of a blue gray. Grays and browns like can be easy because you can accidentally do them, <laughs> make them. But they can also be hard when you're like trying to intentionally make a specific type of gray or brown. And now it's getting closer. It's a little too light. We're gonna. I didn't have purple out here, so handy dandy purple. Put that out here too. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, it got a little bit on the brown side. More blue here, more purple. And we're going to try it. Now my brush is like really loaded, so we're going to maybe try to soften that a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. And we're just going to go in with a little bit of this. And I'm going to have to stand here to reach this. All right. Um, and I'm going to be scrubbing away. I'm going to start here. Because I want to, it was just too warm. Ooh, I think that's, I'm definitely going to lighten around this guy, but it's definitely more what I wanted in uh, value. How dark it is, how light it is. Oh, there's like a little bit of brown happening. It's a little too warm. The goal is to go blue. So but you can see that difference there versus like this stuff. This is just way too dark. It still needs to be quite dark down here, but it's just not. I think I exaggerated that value a little too much last time, but it's okay. You know, you want to have darker values to start and then you can tone them back a little bit as you go. There can, be, there can be little parts of darks that show through. Um, hey, we get people watching. Thanks for watching. In case you missed it, link in the description or in the comment. I want to say description every time. In the comment section here is a link to my newsletter so you can get notified today, later today, um, directly in your inbox with my online classes that are launching today. So do that if you're interested or know someone who's interested, you can pass it off to them. But we're trying to get this up and running. It's my first batch of five online courses that um, you can check out, but you can get directly notified with that link in the comment section. So I hope to see your email come through. Yeah, this is much better. It just, it's even more welcoming, right? <laughs> it looks more cloud-like anyway. That's the, that's the idea. Clouds, right? 
Okay, let's see here. I think I'm gonna go up to this top part first. I'm gonna put in some of that. Remember, I'm leaving some of the orange showing through. Oh, and also, <laughs> I forgot to mention, getting caught up on what, what's launching today, but next weekend is when I launch this cloud series next Friday during this live stream. So um, again, you can be notified of this if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, because then you'll get this live stream um, notified. You'll you know get a notification that it's starting and when it's starting. And then you, I'm going to have, my plan is to kind of show them all off, I think, at once. But then it will be on the website as well. You can take a look. I'm really excited about all of the paintings in this series. And I'll kind of talk a little bit about kind of my meaning and stuff behind it. The Saturday after I launch it and all of that. So super excited. Got a lot of things happening. Good stuff. Definitely means busy, busy weeks, but we're having fun. <laughs> we're making it work. I think I need a little bit of um, blue again. Uh-oh. Can't paint the light. Don't paint the light. I feel about that, but let's get a little blue out because this is turning a little too. Why are these so hard to open? It's this specific brand. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. We're gonna grab this. Hopefully it's going a little bluer. Yeah, that's a little bluer. I can leave some of that brownish, darker undertones. I want to go up and off my canvas here without painting the light. So I'm going to tip this down towards me here so that I can uh, see it. Oh, actually, that's way better. Let's do that. Way better. You probably can't see it, but let me just get the top edge done here. And then I'll put it back up there so you can see what I just did. Not that you can see what I just did because it's on the top. Sorry, talking, talking and painting don't really go well together. Can be a little bit <laughs> tricky. Okay, I'm definitely liking this way better with the muted. It adds a lot of ooh, dimension when you still have the dark underneath it kind of peeking through, but that's just, yeah, that's much better. Okay, so we're gonna do a similar thing, a little bit lighter, maybe just a touch lighter to these closer clouds, maybe a little bit warmer, but we're doing the same thing down in here because these don't need to be quite so, quite so dark. Um, still has a very distinct edge though, so we can kind of leave some of that, let it sort of flow up into here a little bit more. You know, scrub the brush around. I told you about that crazy artist, David Dunlop, last time I think, where he just takes massive brushes and just like pushes them across the canvas. 
it's very inspiring. <laughs> paper towel I'll take paper towels and kind of like rub paint off the canvas and it's very funny he's not intending it to be funny I don't think sometimes maybe but it's very fun to watch you can find him on YouTube he also has a website I think that he does live classes The corners are probably the hardest part here. It's like if I go this way, I get like a clump of light. I go this way, I get a clump of light. It's either darker or lighter on that little corner. A little bit of a lighter value right in there. Oops. I want kind of a light push that around kind of a thing a little bit cooler as it goes around the side this is a little more of a transition more of a blend so we're gonna put that nice purple in there which I like and I want to keep that showing and this one will be added to the series so you're getting a full pretty much from start to finish demonstration on how I did all of these cloud paintings that are gonna be added to the series so that's kind of fun And just a little bit in here. I got that warm, which is really nice. I'm liking that. But this just needs to go maybe a little cooler. It's technically farther away. I was thinking warmer, but I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, that, that works. It can still have dark pieces showing, but it's definitely... <clears throat> Have you guys noticed the, you probably have, the sunsets that we've been having because of the fire? Um, is it near I-70? I'm not really sure where. And if it's just one big one or I don't know the severity of it right now, but we've got like smoke on the horizon constantly. And it just makes that really red, bright orange sun, <laughs> which is beautiful, but the fire is not good. So I've got some good pictures I want to keep painting clouds and we'll see if I paint some more in the next week to add to the series. Oh, I feel like I'm just like a painting maniac these days. Which is great. I should be. I'm an artist. That just looks better. It should be lighter back there anyway. They're not quite as dark, not quite as defined. They're kind of layered clouds, you know.
again, I'm launching this series next Friday during this live stream, 11.30 to 12.30. So hopefully you guys can tune in. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go do that now so you can actually be notified of when it's happening um, and see all the other videos that are that come up when I create them. Okay, let's see. Am I liking this? We could go a tad, tad lighter in spots down in here. Not too much, but just a little bit. Okay, much, much better. I think now there's just um, a few spots of kind of a warmer medium gray. So I'm gonna make a, it's kind of yellowy. What did I do? That'll work, that'll work. Kind of a little bit warmer, warmer gray. And we'll go up here and add little, ooh, yeah, add little pockets of that. It's kind of along the edges just a little bit. Maybe use the finger. You know, sometimes you can blend with the finger with acrylic oil. It wouldn't be as safe. Um, I'm too dark right in there. This can be a little, there's technically a warmness already through, you know, from the background. So it's not like I need to go crazy, but let's just put a little bit in there. Sure, that looks decent, I guess. It's just like little, this, I don't know if it like that quite so yellow. It's close, it's close, but just need a little bit more of a, there's kind of just some weird layers happening down in here. Something like that. <laughs> the warm isn't quite as distinct up in here, but there's a little patch of it, so we'll kind of put in a few. This, okay, this is where I wanted to fix a few things because it's lighter. It's, oh, let's just go right into this here. It's like lighter than I have it, just slightly. Got this thing here, that's fine. A little bit here. And there's like, just a little bit more like in the clouds up in here. Which I think will help some of this stuff. This one, mix it around a little bit more. And we'll try coming up in here a little bit, brightening some of that white stuff. And then 
we might need a little bit more of a medium. Ugh. Sorry, I think I got a little bit brown or yellowy in there. I don't know. Something that wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, there's some more openings there. And here's a little bit right in there. Now we can go in with a blue. It's a little bit darker. Yeah, and kind of fix up. Almost could go a little bit lighter. A little lighter and warmer is fine. And right in here, we're gonna just make sure this separates a little bit more. Next, yeah, we want a little bit more of a distinct dark shape right in there. Hard to find a balance sometime of like darks and lights in here, but we're trying. It's tricky. I was trying to decide, like, I think this stuff over here is a little bit dark. So we're going to lighten this up a bit. This can be dark, but there's something about, like, the stack here that's just a little much. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Something like that. I think this is okay, kind of dark. I still almost just without referencing the photo a few spots in here just going more white because I feel like this is very powerful but it needs to have little hints of that color up above just a little more than it does like in the photo artistic license I knew what I want so we're gonna come in And a little bit of that. Oh, actually, it should be a little on the yellow side. A little bit warmer. And it can be softer. Like, I don't want it to be like, whoa, too yellow. I don't want it to be really sharp or anything. And that looks yellow, doesn't it? Uh, 
Just like, I think that'll balance it a little bit if we've got just some, some light kind of peeking through here. It's not really peeking through because the sun is like, well, I guess, yeah, it is peeking through from this way. Why did I put that right there? I don't know. That makes sense. But, Just hitting that little things in there. And actually this thing could have a little bit brighter piece to it. I think that looks good. Again, squinting is always a good, good thing to try to do. Even as a viewer, you know, you don't have to be painting squinting all the time, but sometimes when you look at art, you can squint. Okay. I think I want to just brighten the uh, this thing down here just a little bit because if like the sun's peeking through and hitting these mountains down here, it's going to just be a little bit brighter. No, it doesn't be consistently bright all the way across or anything. Just little hints. And these mountains are not in the photo reference I'm looking at. They were kind of from another reference, so I'm kind of making it up too as I go. Which is always fun, a little challenging at times because you're like, is it actually looking the way it would in real life? Who knows? I don't know. Okay, I don't want to mess with it too much because I was happy with happy with the look of that. Um okay. If you're just joining, thanks for watching. <laughs> It means a lot to me to have people actually show up and watch me. Um, but today I'm going to be launching my online art classes page and my updated website, both of them together. So you get to see kind of what Fragile Gore Impressions website looks like now and then get links from there to the Teachable online classes page, which I'm really excited about. It's been a dream come true for a long time. So uh, if you want to get directly notified of that immediately right as it gets launched, um, you'll want to subscribe to my newsletter, which I put the link in the, the comments of this video <laughs> so that you can uh, subscribe and get notified of that immediately. And then I will then launch it to social media after that. So um, you get first look at all that stuff. Um, same thing happens for this painting series, which will happen next weekend. It'll be launched next Friday during my live stream. Um, so if you want to get notified of that, you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is where you're watching this. <laughs> and um, yeah, I will be kind of showing off the new paintings in that series. This will be one of them. And 
sharing the titles and some of the descriptions of each of them. And then the following day, the Saturday, um, I will do sort of a, what do you call it? Kind of a talk through, walk through of some of my um, thoughts behind the series and why I created it and why I, why clouds. <laughs> um, but yeah, the series is called Consider the Clouds. And this is one of many. So um, yeah, I'm excited about all this stuff happening. So I hope you guys can, again, you'll get notified of all this stuff if you subscribe to the newsletter and YouTube channel. So let's see, what else do I want to do to this? I'm wondering if the blue background's a little strong, to be honest. Let's see. I mean, it's not really. It's kind of the way it looks. And honestly, the more I look at it, it's like, oh, I did put yellowy white in there and more purple at the top. And I think it, I think it works. So I might have to call this one done um, because I'm liking the things I changed, making sure I painted the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I like the the warm colors. Maybe I'll give you a close-up of the painting so you can, oh, it's not gonna work because the lighting is bad. I could bring you closer. So hold tight. Um, so that you can get kind of an up close view of this without throwing up and getting dizzy. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with this one and really capturing a little bit more of the warmth. Like down in here, you can see like all the different layers of value happening and color, temperature. Um, love that. That was super fun. Not easy to sometimes like see and put in there and... There's parts of it that I'm like, oh, I don't know, is it too yellow, too green looking? But like you get all the values, all the temperature changes in one cloud and that's what makes it so voluminous and and, and big. So, um, and towards the top, of course, some of the texture up in here little peaks of blue leaving the orange you can still see a lot of the orange but you know from a distance most of that is you know covered up so that's the idea with the technique is let it let it show through where it can show through and it can be kind of impressionistic that way but then let the texture kind of engulf around it and just enhance it almost because you know I chose orange because there's lots of blues and cooler colors in this picture so it's opposite of orange um, so that you, those really really pop and it kind of adds a sparkle to the whole piece so I think I'm going to stop there and I will um, hop off and hope to see you guys next week when I talk about this series so have an awesome weekend and um, yeah we'll see you next week. Don't forget, invite friends and family because it's going to be cool. <laughs> I'm excited to share these paintings and my thought process behind them. So have a good one, guys. Bye.